Hi there, Renee Assey of Low Massachusetts. And I used to be kind of caught up in that discussion about gender dysphoria. But then what was occurring, especially in 2022, far right accounts were really whipping it up and taking advantage of the situation. There was like documentaries being made. There was obviously libs of TikTok. The conversation prior to these accounts were very nuanced. And you could have a diversity of views. You could have people I knew in Massachusetts, progressive Massachusetts, online, on Twitter, who are very clearly Democrats. So like having like normal conversations without any of the polarization. They existed in my Twitter feed. But by late 2022, especially when Elon Musk took over, those accounts became radio silent. So there was a nuance of a moderate voice. People who even identify as Democrats were like, let's reassess the, what accounts for gender dysphoria. Not a pl politicalization, polarization of lies, but let's reassess the standards of care. Let the actual professionals handle it. And that's not what we've got. we got a nasty culture of lying, even lying between Republicans and Republicans. So Marjorie Taylor Greene is far right. She, she's taken this issue. She's run with it. And she doesn't care what she says about other people. So she posted something along the lines of, I think the law should stay out of it. I think parents should handle it. It was a hypothetical question for Nikki Haley. And that's actually the moderate point of view. The law shouldn't go in one way or the other. Maybe the gender affirming protection laws might be too far because it doesn't give that nuance of discretion between the family and the doctor. But that banning it is also not the right answer. It's just the flip side of the polarization. So this is actually the moderate view. I think the law should stay out of it. It could be bo applied both ways. I think the parents should handle it. But the 19 second clip of June 23 interview with CBS didn't include was context. This is a job for the parents to handle. Then when that child becomes 18, if they want a more make more of a permanent change, they can do that, Haley added in a statement. <clears throat> that was cut out of the libs of TikTok post. That was cut out of the libs of TikTok post. These are the people who are polarizing you, angering you, call, want to call everything groomer. They don't want to give you the full story of the goof. They want you just on your Twitter X feed. You see something, makes you angry, gets you outraged. This is a job for parents to handle. Then when that child becomes 18, if they want to make more of a permanent change, they can do that. Look, my kids got tattoos. Thank goodness they put them in a spot that was like not as revealing um, at first. But it is what it is, right? And like you as a parent, you walk through and you discern and you have discussions with your child. It's not just do what I say. Your job is a part of discipline, is to be a teacher, is to teach discipline, disciple, teach, right? Yeah, sometimes we do have the final say. Sometimes we're like, I'm sorry, I'm going to put my parental authority. But like 90% of your job as a parent especially when they get to like 13, 14 years old, is a lot of discernment. Like I sit down with like IEP meetings for my son who is now no longer probably needing an IP, thank goodness. But a lot of it's like, well, what does Michael think? What's your say? How are you feeling about this? I want to know how my kids feel about things. I'm just not going to be like yes or no as a parent. And it's not like when they're three years old and you're like, how do you feel about like this? You know, sometimes you're going to be, Yes or no when they're three years old because they can't do any discernment when they're three years old. But by the time they're 13, they have a lot of discernment. You better be as a parent ready for it and prepare them for them to be able to discern their own lives. Oh, yeah. Libs of TikTok lies. Lovely. And the, you know, and child sex changed to the list of reasons why no one should support Nikki Haley. That's not true. That's not what Nikki Haley said. You know that, but it's just, they don't care about the gender dysphoria issue. They are using it for a polarized culture war. Love you all.